What's going on guys? Welcome to Clutch People. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night. When you guys think of the greatest defensive players to ever live, you think of Gary Payton, Bill Russell, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Akeem Olajuwon, Dikembe Mutombo, or even Wilt Chamberlain. You have probably not heard the name in a while, or at all. His name is Mookie Blaylock, who is a former member of the Atlanta Hawks and the Golden State Warriors, who in my opinion is the most underrated defensive player to ever live, playing in the league from 1989 to 2002. His career highlights and awards, he was an NBA All-Star in 1994, he's a two-time NBA All-Defensive First Teamer in 1994 and 1995, a four-time NBA All-Defensive Second Teamer from 1996 to 1999, two-time NBA Steals Leader in 1997 and 1998, a consensus Second Team All-American in 1989 in college, and his number 10 was honored by the University of Oklahoma. His gritty style of play was unbelievable with the Atlanta Hawks, being one of the greatest defenders and one of the great passers in his era, shutting down players like Michael Jordan. As he averaged 13.5 points per game, 4.1 rebounds, and 6.7 assists. And when I said shutting down players like Michael Jordan, that was the whole sarcastic point. There was not another player like Michael Jordan. When you get into his college career, he was only six foot tall. Some people questioned if he was going to be good in the NBA due to his height but he did not let anything get to him whatsoever. He played with a fearless style of play as he was a push and pace point guard. Blaylock was rated among the best defensive stoppers in the game. The former Garland High School Midland College where he earned NJCAA All-American honors in 1987 and University of Oklahoma Star is most highly regarded for his quick hands in a ball hawking defensive style that produced more than 200 steals in a season five times and a two-time NBA All-Defensive First Teamer when it came to his selections. He was also a very capable outside shooter on good efficiency and was a fine passer who generally ranked among the league's assist leaders and he was very durable in the fast break as well in 1988 he helped to lead the Sooners to the NCAA title game when you go on to his professional career Belaylock was selected by the New Jersey Nets in the first round of the 12th overall pick in the 1989 NBA draft and settled quickly into the Nets rotation he was traded with Roy Hinson to the Atlanta Hawks prior to the 1992 to 93 season for Romeo Robinson where he flourished under newly signed head coach Lenny Wilkins, who was a former player in the NBA. He spent seven years with the Hawks, leading them in career three-point field goals made and attempted, and also career steals. He was also selected for the 1994 NBA All-Star Game. He was traded to the Golden State Warriors in a deal that brought Bimbo Coles, Duwan Farrell, and the 1999 10th overall draft pick with Jason Terry to Atlanta, and he finished off his career playing as a reserve for the Warriors. Like I said, when you get into his NBA achievements, of course, there's players like Allen Iverson, Magic Johnson, Chris Paul, and even Alvin Robinson that get credit, but he does not get the credit he deserves. He led the NBA in steals two years in a row from 1996 to 1997 and 1997 to 1998, joining Alvin Robertson, Magic Johnson, Allen Iverson, and Chris Paul as the only players to ever achieve that feat. He led the NBA in three-point attempts and finished second in three-pointers made in the 1996-97 season. He is the Atlanta Hawks' all-time franchise leader in three-point field goals made with 1,050, which is big time because Kyle Corbett is one of the greatest three-point shooters to ever live. And also three-point field goal attempts with 3,023 and steals with 1,321. He set the Atlanta Hawks single season franchise record for three pointers made with 231 and attempted with 623 in 1995 to 1996. As he got better year after year, becoming more efficient from downtown and from the field in general. But the big consistency was definitely the steals per game, as he was just absolutely unbelievable. No one is able to shut him down on the defense side of the basketball. He literally had no weakness when it came to that side of the ball. It was just so much fun to watch him going back at the highlights and the film, averaging 2.3 steals per game, being one of the greatest on-ball defenders, and dishing out the rock, averaging 6.7 assists per game as well. And he was not the greatest from the free throw line, but just talk about a defensive monster who was consistent year after year, and you really relied on him to guard the best player on the opposing team. Let me know down below your thoughts and analysis on Mookie Blaylock, and as always guys, have a humble day or night. Peace out, y'all.